this new war ahead, I call it the war for the promise. I believe we have come through and out of. See, you can come out of slavery. You can come out of wilderness. Those both are wars. But there comes a point where you have to enter in for the war, for the promise ahead. That's where the war intensifies. You know, all you've got to do is go back and look at Joshua 3 through 5, and you see the Lord pull them aside. He had been waiting 476 years for a group that he had promised to go into the land that he had promised them and to transfer the wealth and establish themselves as a new nation. I believe finally that group, see one group came out of Egypt, they warred to get out of slavery. God got them out of slavery, but some way or another they decided never to go to war for the promise. So the Lord had to let that generation die off until he had Joshua, Caleb, and 12 leaders, a leader from every tribe that would go forth and war for the promise. Now, I believe that's what God is doing right now with us. We are coming into an actual war for the promise. Now, think about if the uh, Holy Spirit Bay, Mobile was established in 1702. Now think about that. Where now after that 300 years and now we're coming upon this time where we must go to war for this promise. Now that is the way you want to think about this as we advance. And I believe how we wore from Mobile through Alabama sets the course for how this nation goes. And so with this new dimension of war, there's new dimension of angelic intervention that's coming to us. Remember, every time God crossed them over into an era, he visited them with angels. When the Lord withstood the temptations in the wilderness for 40 years. It says, after all that temptation, God visited him and the angels ministered to him. Same way when it was time finally to go into the promise, what happened was the angel God had promised them when they left Egypt in Exodus 23, all of a sudden manifest himself. That angel had been waiting 40 years to manifest himself to a group that was willing to go in. Now, that's where we are. I want to say to you there in Mobile, get ready for a manifestation. Now, I go back to the early apostolic move as it was shifting here in America. It shifted there at Mobile. That was where one of the first shifts occurred for last season's apostolic wineskin. Now, I decree that there's a new shift coming. And I decree a new dimension of angelic visitation to guide and lead you through and into this era of triumph that we're coming into. Watching every promise that has been made start manifesting. See, this battle is so key. And the Lord warned me last November, when it comes spring of this year, it intensifies. So he said, in the spring, kings go to war. Now, you know what he was saying there was, David, I do, I, I, David decided not to go to war that one spring, and it shifted the course of history. This spring, we are in a battle, no passivity, and I call it the battle for our promise. Now, I also say that this battle is for divine recovery and restoration. And that's how I have always looked at Mobile. When I visit there, when I've gone there, it is a divine place of recovery. 
Now, one of the ways that I believe God is going to move in this meeting there at uh, Mobile, Alabama, there is an anointing for divine recovery that's coming upon us. See, and with that, we're moving out and we're crossing over. We're moving out of religion. We're crossing over from judgmentalism, as Isaiah 58 says, constant criticism, perfectionism. We're leaving all of those things that were embodied in the last religious moves. We're leaving them behind, never being pleased or satisfied. And the traumas from last season, see, we can replay those traumas over and over till they create a groove, a trench of captivity, and our thinking becomes captivity instead of promise and glory. The fear of failure, where things didn't come to a completion in other seasons. We can't allow that to stop us from breaking past failure and into divine recovery. So I decree there at Mobile, Alabama, a new grace barrier is forming. I decree that this grace barrier that is forming in Alabama is going to rise up and spread through a whole nation. So this divine recovery season, I activate it right now in Jesus' name. I say we will start regaining what has been lost or taken. Every decree you make now, I decree it starts a process of regaining loss. And uh, how lost or what was taken from us or what was never finished occurred. I decree a new move of healing and health. I decree in a divine recovery, we return to a new state of authority. I say it's starting right now in this nation. There. We... We save ourselves from falling, slipping, and being betrayed. In other words, all of that that happened, all of the slander against last season and the promise, we say we're reclaiming and we're coming back to a new strong stand. We're, reca- we're reclaiming land. I want you, when, when I finish speaking, to stand up and reclaim this nation and decree that Holy Spirit, will be restored back to this nation. We're, we're watching people come out of bad states of mind where uh, over the last two years there's been such testing and we're coming out from under that bad state of mind that's tried to overtake us. And as recovery occurs, restoration accelerates and multiplication exponentially occurs. So Lord, I loose this. And I decree also there in Mobile, it's it's a it's an anointing for sound. I decree Judah will go first. When the Lord is ready to move, he orders his army. Uh, some way or another, this meeting is setting a new order. And see, he brought them out by armies and he said, Judah, you've got to go first. And I decree right now that redemptive anointing of Judah it will rise up through Mobile. Now, of course, we all know Mobile was the first place where Mardi Gras occurred. And you know what? I decree a redemptive plan of God to fill the streets. And Holy Spirit, come alive in Mobile, Alabama. And so, this becomes important as we advance. See, Judah goes first. We're restoring the covenant root this year in this nation. That's what makes Mobile, Alabama so important. And I decree right now the power of divine recovery and restoration is manifesting. And with that, I decree we will be delivered. See, we're living in a Passover era. 
the word is uh, of this era is linked with Passover. Passover is an era uh, it represents this entire era called pay. Pentecost is part of this era that we are. It's the era is Passover into Pentecost. I loose it right there. I decree deliverance will rise up again throughout the land. Lord, we loose this as we move. And I decree that your portion, your inheritance, your field or your sphere where you wore is being unlocked in a new way. I love it. I decree right now a new prophetic wind will start blowing there from Mobile. Will cause all of Alabama to awaken and then will cause this nation to awaken. Father, I loose this anointing now and I say, let this begin and intensify there in Mobile, Alabama. And I say, let the glory and presence of God Manifest new and fresh, starting right there, right now. And I loose the sounds of revival. I loose the spiritual awakening that needs to be loose there. And I decree right now, a nation will divinely recover, recover starting now. In Yeshua's name. Amen.